Ampersand is a shorthand way of writing the word and. The ampersand is one of the few characters in the English language that stands alone with a distinct meaning. Ampersand was created as a character that combined two letters, which is called a ligature. In this case, the ancient Romans were combining the letters E and T, which together spell the Latin word et, which means and. For example, in the famous quote from the play Julius Caesar, when Caesar says, et tu Brute, he is saying, and you Brutus. Being such a common word to write, the Romans would write it quickly. And, much like a signature, the more you write the same word, the faster you write it, and the less legible it becomes. So soon et morphed into the character we know today. The earliest known recorded version of the ampersand was scrawled on a wall in Pompeii by an unknown graffiti artist and preserved under volcanic ash from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. The ampersand was part of the original Old English alphabet, which was recorded in 1011 AD, though at the time it was still known as and. The full Old English alphabet actually contained these 29 characters. In the early 19th century, when school children recited the alphabet, they would use the Latin phrase per se, which means by itself, when a letter was also a word by itself. For example, A was read out as per se A, meaning A by itself. At the same time, ampersand was merely referred to as and, so children would say X, Y, Z and per se and. Over time, and per se and blended together to become ampersand. The letter was dropped in 1835, giving us the 26-letter alphabet we know today. Although the ampersand does represent the word and, it is not grammatically correct to use the two interchangeably. Correct usage would be in headings, subheadings, titles, names, logos, and to connect two related words. It is also correct to use them in citations and references. The ampersand has become a common tattoo. It can be interpreted in a number of ways, but some say that it represents a union, togetherness, marriage, friendship, that it is an indication of the future, or that it symbolizes the ending of a difficult period. 